Can a rotator cuff tear heal on its own? Yes, absolutely yes it can. For nearly all rotator cuff tendon tears, it's possible to heal it if you can put it in the right healing environment so that you can take tension off the rotator cuff tendon and allow the, the scar tissue to develop and get back to normal. There is growing medical research that shows that conservative treatment, that's what they call it in the medical research, which is they're referring to physical therapy treatment, can be helpful in recovering from a rotator cuff tendon tear. But let me tell you three secrets that people in the medical field don't know to share with you. The first secret is that we don't know with certainty, according to the medical research, that the tendon does or doesn't heal despite the individual feeling better. In other words, we don't have consistent confirmation that when somebody improves after having torn the rotator cuff tendon, that the tendon actually appears healed on an MRI. It's because of this that some healthcare professionals out there will say, well, you might as well get the surgery, the rotator cuff repair, because the tendon never actually heals. But saying that the tendon never actually heals is wrong because number two, we don't have medical research proving that the tendon does or does not heal. What we know is that someone with a rotator cuff tendon tear can feel better, even completely normal, painless and having normal function, despite having a positive tear on their MRI. And if that's the case, then it makes sense to hold off on having a rotator cuff repair surgery and see what could be done to heal naturally from this rotator cuff tendon tear. And lastly, number three, we know from medical research that compares having a rotator cuff repair tendon to conservative treatment or physical therapy, that the outcomes after of people going through both situations is about the same. In other words, for, for people that have gone through a rotator cuff tendon repair, and the associated physical therapy treatment afterwards versus people that just had conservative treatment, which, which means no surgery, and they just had a physical therapy treatment, the outcomes for six months and 12 months later, people are generally feel, saying that they feel about the same. So if you're considering having a rotator cuff tendon repair surgery or just going through physical therapy treatment to see how you do, then you have to ask yourself this question. If the outcome of having surgery and rehabilitation afterwards versus just going through physical therapy treatments, if the outcomes of those two are gonna be the same, then why go through the risk and hassle of having a surgery, especially if you're going to have to do physical therapy after surgery anyway? Physical therapy treatment for healing the rotator cuff tendon tear can vary, and it's going to look different than the treatment that you would get after having the surgery. If you're looking to try physical therapy treatment to heal your rotator cuff tendon, then make sure you do your due diligence in searching for a expert who specializes in helping people heal naturally from a rotator cuff tear so that you can get the best treatment and avoid surgery. We've got tons of videos to help you here on YouTube. I've got a playlist called Rotator Cuff Tear Help. It's linked down in the description below. And I've also got a program called the Rotator Cuff Tear Recovery Program that you might want to learn more about. You'll find the link for that in the description down below too. Hey, if this video was helpful for you, please like it and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the helpful videos we post each and every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.